Okay, so we all attend church, yes. And <laughs> in the church, we have a multitude of different people with different gifts. The question is, what do we do if we're in church and our church doesn't appreciate our gifts? So what do we think? What do we do with that? Go for it, Rosario. Ooh, <laughs> well, you know, I don't know that I'm the best person to answer that because my gifts mostly have gotten me in trouble. Ah, okay. No, I'm really explain. serious. Explain. Okay, well, I was tenured in sin, and my sure. gifts have gotten, really, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not slow to speak, I'm quick to speak. Mm. Um, especially words that have swords attached to them seem to proliferate between my brain and tongue at a speed <laughs> that is, it's appalling. Mm. And, and so, you know, I, I, I'll tell you that when I'm feeling that feeling, like, oh, hey, I've really got something to contribute here. Sure. And these people don't appreciate me. There are two verses that come to mind. One is Isaiah, um, all of my works are filthy rags. Yeah. And the other is Psalm 130, let me be like a weaned child. Or one of the ways that a, a pastor had rendered that once was that um, in humility, our gifts have to be wrapped. Mm -hmm. So I will tell you that when I have that feeling, I absolutely know I'm in sin. Sure. And I absolutely know that my pride is going to kill me faster than anything else. And if I unleash it on everybody else, instead of blessing my church or blessing my women's group or blessing my children, I am instead going to do them great harm. I agree. So. Really, what you're talking about is being a servant. Yeah. And counting others as more important than yourself, which is hard. Right? right? It, it makes me think of um, 1 Corinthians, right? Which is so wonderful. So 1 Corinthians uh, 12 through 14, and having love right there, right? Love yeah. is greater than the gift. So, right. yeah. um, you know, we know that gifts are used for the edification of the church, right. um, and it's, it has an order right? That we're not just to do whatever right. we want to do. Right. Um, God has given elders, pastors to help. Um, for the edification of the church. Right. And so I would say we always want to check our hearts, right? We want to make sure that we have the right motives and realize that, you know, as we communicate with our elders what gifts that we have and how we would like to serve, it may not be the season for you to do what you would like to do. Right. So what is needed, right? What is going to actually help uh, build up the church? Right. It may be cleaning toilets. Absolutely. You know what I mean yeah. right now? Yeah. Yeah. Um, or I even think about <clears throat> me doing poetry I don't expect on a Sunday morning, I need to, I have to be, you know, I don't right. need to be in the front. Mm -hmm. There are many things that the Lord uses that never, you know, oh, are made public. Yes. God gets Absolutely. glory from many hidden things. Right. And so um, I may be able to use poetry to, you know, send a card to someone who's shut in or, yeah, sure. you yeah. know, to encourage a sister in the Lord. So right. there are just so many ways that we can serve. So I think the heart motive is really what we mm -hmm. have to check, you know. Yeah, yeah I agree. So. And, and there are, again, many gifts. And so, mm -hmm. and the body needs all of, all of the parts. Right. I think part of our trouble is that we think that everyone needs to be the head. Right. When really, we need a whole lot of pinkies. <laughs> <laughs> we need pinkies. We need you pinkies. And so, and I would yes. say, I'm a pinky in my church. I, I serve in children's ministry, and I yeah. love it, and it's beautiful, yeah. and just getting oh, to yeah. serve those three-year-olds and walkers, and um, and so we want, we need to, I think, maybe change how we view the gifts, mm -hmm. and change how we view the church, mm -hmm. and see it as a whole body with mm -hmm. many parts, every part needed, mm -hmm. and work in love, to exercise this in love. Mm -hmm. So what do we do with the, the woman, or the man, mm -hmm. who... Is it okay if I back up for a minute? Yeah. Okay, because I also think that gifts and calling go together. Mm -hmm. Sure. And I think that if you're not called to use your gifts by external means, you need to question whether that gift is really necessary at this moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, and you know, when you were talking about cleaning toilets, that was my first job when Kent was a church planter. My mm -hmm. first job, Lord's Day morning, was to go and clean the toilets at the community center. Yeah. And the night before was open men's basketball. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, you know, I'll tell you, it was the, the, <laughs> I'm just telling you, you know, the verse that, that, that came to mind was Psalm 84, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house yes. of the Lord. Yeah. You know? Now, do you need a PhD in hermeneutics to clean toilets? No. 
I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe. You know? I mean, maybe, maybe in order I to actually understand that verse. <laughs> yeah, there maybe you go. I do. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> so I think gifts and calling have to come together. And if you're the only one who thinks your gift is necessary, there's a problem. Mm -hmm. That is right. there's a big an excellent problem. problem. That is Absolutely. Right. So sorry to, to interrupt be affirmed, you, but here we are. No, just all talking. Yes. <laughs> and I, I agree with you. Yeah. It, it's it's good to be affirmed mm -hmm. by other people. That's right. why we also have a body, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. So to be encouraged and affirmed mm -hmm. and um and really to be asked. Yes. Right? right? That's right. We don't yes. have to de command or right. demand, excuse right. me, our um our way. Yeah. We can wait and be asked and right. see what the Lord does. Mm -hmm. But I do think there is maybe a place to to prayerfully consider stepping out in faith. Mm -hmm. I think um, often maybe we see um, men and women who are waiting. And I, I love how mm -hmm. Kevin DeYoung says it, just do something. something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just do something. Yeah. I think there, there are, there's, we've got the spectrum. Those of us who are just going to go and we're going to, Mm -hmm. try to make our way, and mm -hmm. those of us who are waiting for permission. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. You know, and yeah. so for the person who is waiting, maybe mm -hmm. you need encouragement. Mm -hmm. Right. To right. just do something, to step right. out in faith. Right. But to do it in such a way that we're trusting the Lord, yes. we're submitted to our, the authority yeah. in our churches, right. and we're not in pride trying to uh, make a name for ourselves or mm -hmm. trying to make to do it our own way. Mm -hmm. And so what would you say real briefly mm -hmm. to encourage the person who who isn't trying to proudly mm -hmm. put themselves forward but really right. needs encouragement to step out in faith? Mm -hmm. I would say keep waiting, right? Keep trusting the Lord. Yeah. Our whole life as believers is waiting, it right? Is. We're it waiting is. for the Lord to return, you know? Yeah. Um, and so mm -hmm. there is there is that waiting there. So just to know the Lord sees you, if he's given you gifts, He's given it, so he knows mm -hmm. about it, um, mm -hmm. and just to trust him with it, yeah. you know. And yeah, there's because our identity is rooted in Christ. Yes, mm -hmm. whether or not we're doing these things, it doesn't change who we are right. in Christ. Right. Amen. Right. That's very good. And while we're waiting, we should be servants to the people around yes, us. So that's while right. we're waiting, we need to pray that the Lord would give us the eyes to see uh, the the people who are chronically lonely, yeah. who are literally sitting right next to us in, in the yeah. pew every every Lord's Day, and mm -hmm. the people who are chronically depressed, mm -hmm. and the the hidden burdens of sin, and, right. and to remember that the Lord will magnify your efforts when you serve on the ground yes. in that way. The ground mm -hmm. game right, of man. the Christian life is caring for the disempowered and yeah. having the eyes to see who they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, amen. Amen to that. Well, thank you guys. <laughs> I pray that people are encouraged by this yeah. to, to wait well mm -hmm. and to trust the Lord. Mm -hmm.